Hey everyone, Hike and Mule here. I'm heading out on a five day, four night backpacking trip into the sawtooth wilderness of Idaho. Starting towards the end of July, I'm hoping for fantastic weather. We'll be starting at the Tin Cup Hiker Trailhead and finishing at the Iron Creek Campground. In total, we'll hike approximately 45 trail miles and gain close to 10,000 feet in elevation. This route also allows us to hit several spectacular areas and lakes in the range. It's going to be amazing. I finally have all my gear dialed in on what I believe will work for me and wanted to share those details. I always find value in hearing what others bring and hope some of you will get the same. Let's jump into it. Let's get started with the big three. First up is my pack, which is the 35 liter Curve from Light AF. It's made of Dyneema, which is highly water resistant. And with my setup, the old rucksack comes in at a whopping 13.7 ounces. It's not large, but I also don't carry a lot, so it's perfect for this adventure. A key piece of my sleep system is a UGQ Bandit Quilt 30 degree bag. Keep in mind that rating for the UGQ is a comfort rating and not survivability. On my last trip, which got into the 30s, this was very warm, actually almost too warm. Now I carry that quilt in the Z-Pax medium dry bag and together they come in at 20.1 ounces. For my shelter, I use the Z-Pax Plexamid coming in at 15.1 ounce on my scale. With it, I also bring 10 6.4 inch carbon fiber stakes in a Z-Pax tent stake bag, which adds on another 2.3 ounces. The shelter is not huge, but it's perfect for what I need. For the sleeping pad, this time around, I made a change to the Thermarest NeoAir Uberlite Regular Wide, reducing the weight, bulk, and the R value, which should be perfect for this location. The weight on my scale came in at 11 ounces. Another change this trip is my pillow. I'll be bringing the MyPillow Travel Pillow, which comes in at 9.7 ounces. I've tried inflatable pillows and balling up my extra clothes together, but neither were very comfortable. While this adds a bit of bulk and weight, a good sleep is worthwhile and I'm going to give this one a try. Alright, moving on to the clothes that I'll be wearing while hiking. First up are my darn tough socks. I wear these on nearly every hike and never had an issue, so I won't stop now. Next up are my nut huggers, the Saks Day Tripper Boxer Briefs. Super comfortable pair in all my trail runs so far and I hope it continues. I could not find a drinking mule pair, so I'll have to go with a gnome. For my shorts, I use running shorts which have the liner cut out. Good sized pockets are nice for carrying small items for quick access. New shirt I'm going to be trying out this time around is the Belong Designs Accent Merino t-shirt. It's a lightweight option, but it's also comfortable. I'll be bringing the Kuyu Ultra Merino 125 SS Crew tee as well, and I'll make a game time decision as to which shirt I want to bring. It's even possible if my pack is light enough, I'll throw both in. But as of now, I'm just leaning toward the Belong Designs. To help keep the sun off my head, I'll be wearing a baseball cap, which has seen a few miles. Always important to bring sunglasses. These are cheapos, so I also don't have to worry about bringing something along to protect them. For shoes, I'm gonna go with the Ultra Lone Peaks 4.5. I've used the Ultras now for the past three years and been very happy. I have wide feet and these offer plenty of room up top. Finally, I'll count my trekking poles as something I wear. I picked these Pioneer poles up when I first started backpacking and they've worked out well ever since, never having an issue. As a bonus, they're also cheap at $26 a few years ago. Weighing in at 18.1 ounces for the pair, they're not the lightest, but they're reasonable. Okay, moving on to the clothing I'll bring in my pack. First up are my UltraFit running gloves. Next up, I always bring a second pair of darn tough socks. I always bring an extra pair of underwear and the ex officio briefs have been fantastic in the past. They also fit slightly different than the sacks, so just in case I run into issues there, I can switch over to these. Next, I bring along a buff. I use this as a tent towel and an additional layer when it gets cold. For my legs, I have the Viore Ponto Performance Pants. Super soft, warm, and comfortable to wear around camp or sleep in if the temperatures drop. In case of super cold hiking days, they can also perform well in the trail. To keep my noggin warm, I have a cool fleece hat. Super lightweight, but warm and comfortable at the same time. A new piece of gear this year for my mid layer is a Kuyu Peloton 97 fleece zip tee hoodie. Coming in at only 5.8 ounces, this should provide warmth and comfort, including a hoodie for a very lightweight. 
Really excited to see how this performs on the trail this time around. In case of rain, I have my Marmot rain jacket. I've had this for a while and never found the need to change it yet. It's not the lightest, but it's also not very heavy. I don't bring along rain pants, I just wear shorts and let them dry out after. Last, but not least, is my puffy jacket. In light and equipment, men's toward Apex jacket. I go without a hoodie since my mid later has one, and overall, this has been a fantastic piece of gear. On to the miscellaneous items in my pack. First is the z pax foldable foam seat. Last year, I brought the Helox chair, but currently leaning towards changing it up. I'll actually bring both on the trip and just make a game time decision on which one to bring. Having the ability to lean back on a chair has its value, but not necessary. The foam seat is quicker and lighter, and I'm all about simplicity on the trail. New item this year is the Gorilla Pod to help with recording. While it's not needed, it's a pain to always find rocks or sticks to prop up the phone, only to find the angle was wrong later because it slipped a little. I have an iPhone 11 with a protective case that also carries my driver's license, credit card, and health card. For power throughout the trip, I use the Anchor PowerCore 10,000 milliamps. On my last four day adventure, it had plenty of leftovers, so it should work well in the five day too. A couple cables for charging. New this year for me is the Nightcore NU25 for light source. I removed the strap as I don't night hike and if needed I can carry by hand. I also have a velcro strap that can be used as a head strap if I change my mind. Blows me away that this only weighs one ounce. For tracking and safety I bring the Garmin InReach Mini. It's a huge benefit for our families back home to receive updates as we progress throughout the trail. Earbuds for that late night in the tent. Since we're going in July I anticipate bugs could be bad. I tend not to use one even in those cases, but I'd rather have the item and not need it than need the item and not have it, especially when it's probable to happen. For my first aid and repair kit, I place all the items in the Light AF pouch, which is aptly marked. Let's see, it has bandages, swabs, alcohol wipes, Neosporin, Advil, Modium, sports tape, and a variety of other patches that uh, if something were to get damaged, they could fix. The weight is only two ounces, so really enough to stabilize me and get by. Okay, the good old dookie kit. For the trial, I have the deuce of spades. I also bring along a small hand sanitizer. For toilet paper, I bring along Summit Points compressed towels, but new this year is the Kulo portable bidet. Hopefully that works out well, and I can limit what I use on the paper end. Finally, I bring a few good wipes for cleaning up some of the tent, although I think they do little good. What I will call the toiletries kit. I have sunscreen, bug spray, toothbrush, toothpaste, small pocket knife, and deodorant. Although once again, does it really help? Finally, but not least, I'll bring a little bit of fun water. I'm not sure how much I'll bring at this point, but it's nice to have a nightcap with the group as we tell inflated stories of how we crush the trail. On to the food side of things. My food bag is the Light AF Large Bear Bag Kit. Since I don't go backpacking often for dinners, I get the pre-prepared freeze-dried meals. To save a little on weight and space, I repack them into quart-sized freezer bags, which works out perfect. For breakfast and lunch, I'll bring a Pro Bar. Since we'll not need breakfast on the first day or lunch and dinner on the last day, I'll only need four breakfasts, four lunches, and four dinners. For snacks, I bring a small candy bar in the morning and a fruit bar in the evening. For drinks, I bring two noon hydration tabs per day, so 10 in total. They provide electrolytes, caffeine, and flavor difference from water. In total, with the bag, the weight is 15.1 ounces, or just under 3.5 pounds. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but I just don't get very hungry out on the trail for a short period of time. For water filtration, I use the Catadyne Beef Free and 1 liter bag. This is new this year, and I'm hoping the flow rate works out well. For water storage, I bring the 700 milliliter bottle. The smaller size fits perfectly into the front pouch of my backpack. This trail is also blessed with plentiful water, so I don't need to bring that extra water storage for long hauls. Still, I may bring a second water bottle, since it's nice to have that extra one around camp. Unfortunately, I lost my long-handled spoon, so I picked up this Sea to Summit spoon for $1. It's long enough for the quart-sized bag, and its head is a bit larger, so it should be nice. We'll see how it works out. On to the cook kit. For my cook pot, I have the Tom Shoe 750 milliliter titanium cup and sack. For the stove, I use the BRS 3000 burner. I carry a mini Bic lighter and a small scrub pad to handle the hot things and clean up. Finally, I'll grab a mini fuel when I get into town since I can't fly with it. Well, that's it. That's all my gear will be bringing onto this adventure into the Sawtooth Wilderness at the end of July. 
It's what I believe will work for me. If you have any questions or suggestions, please drop a comment. Thanks for watching and happy hiking everyone.